The registered nurse is planning to delegate tasks to unlicensed assistive personnel. Which of the following tasks could the registered nurse safely assign to a UAP? A. Monitor the I and O of a comatose toddler client with salicylate poisoning. B. Perform a complete bed bath on a two-year-old with multiple injuries from a serious fall. C. Check the IV of a preschooler with Kawasaki disease. D. Give an out meal bath to an infant with eczema. To know the answer, let us remove or eliminate the two distractor options. Now we only have options A and D. So, from these two options, which do you think best describe to the given situation? Correct. The correct answer is letter D. Bathing an infant with eczema can be safely delegated to an aide, this task is basic and can competently performed by an aide. A nurse manager assigned a registered nurse from telemetry unit to the pediatrics unit. There were three patients assigned to the RN. Which of the following patients should not be assigned to the floated nurse? A. A nine-year-old child diagnosed with rheumatic fever. B. Young infant after pyloromyotomy. C. A 4-year-old with VSD following cardiac catheterization. D. A 5-month-old with Kawasaki disease. To know the answer, let us remove or eliminate the two distractor options. Now we only have options B and D. So, from these two options, which do you think best describe to the given situation? Correct. The correct answer is letter B. The RN floated from the telemetry unit would be least prepared to care for a young infant who has just had GI surgery and requires a specific feeding regimen. A nurse in charge in the pediatric unit is absent. The nurse manager decided to assign the nurse in the obstetrics unit to the pediatrics unit. Which of the following patients could the nurse manager safely assign to the float nurse? A. A child who had multiple injuries from a serious vehicle accident. B. A child diagnosed with Kawasaki disease and with cardiac complications. C. A child who has had an nephrectomy for Wilms tumor. D. A child receiving an IV chelating therapy for lead poisoning. To know the answer, let us remove or eliminate the two distractor options. Now we only have options B and C. So, from these two options, which do you think best describe to the given situation? Correct. The correct answer is letter C. RN floated from the obstetrics unit should be able to care for a client with major abdominal surgery, because this nurse has experienced caring for clients with cesarean births. The registered nurse is planning to delegate task to a certified nursing assistant. Which of the following clients should not be assigned to ACAN? A. A client diagnosed with diabetes and who has an infected toe B. A client who had a CVA in the past two months. C. A client with chronic renal failure. D. A client with chronic venous insufficiency. To know the answer, let us remove or eliminate the two distractor options. Now we only have options A and C. So, from these two options, which do you think best describe to the given situation? Correct. The correct answer is letter A. The patient is experiencing a potentially serious complication related to diabetes and needs ongoing assessment by an RN. The nurse in the medication unit passes the medications for all the clients on the nursing unit. The head nurse is making rounds with the physician and coordinates clients' activities with other departments. 
the nurse assistant changes the bed lines and answers call lights. A second nurse is assigned for changing wound dressings, a licensed practitioner nurse takes vital signs and bathes the clients. This illustrates of what method of nursing care. A. Case management method. B. Primary nursing method. C. Team method. D. Functional method. To know the answer, let us remove or eliminate the two distractor options. Now we only have options A and D. So, from these two options, which do you think best describe to the given situation? Correct. The correct answer is letter D. It describes functional nursing. Staff is assigned to specific tasks rather than specific clients. A registered nurse has been assigned to six clients on the 12-hour shift. The RN is responsible for every aspect of care such as formulating the care of plan, intervention and evaluating the care during her shift. At the end of her shift, the RN will pass this same task to the next RN in charge. This nursing care illustrates of what kind of method? A. Primary nursing method. B. Case method. C. Team method. D. Functional method. To know the answer, let us remove or eliminate the two distractor options. Now we only have options A and B. So, from these two options, which do you think best describe to the given situation? Correct. The correct answer is letter B. Case management. The nurse assumes total responsibility for meeting the needs of the client during her entire duty. A newly hired nurse on an adult medicine unit with three months experience was asked to float to pediatrics. The nurse hesitates to perform pediatric skills and receive an interesting assignment that feels overwhelming. The nurse should a. Resign on the spot from the nursing position and apply for a position that does not require floating. b. Inform the nursing supervisor and the charged nurse on the pediatric floor about the nurse's lack of skill and feelings of hesitations and request assistance. c. Ask several other nurses how they feel about pediatrics and find someone else who is willing to accept the assignment. d. Refuse the assignment and leave the unit requesting a vacation a day. To know the answer, let us remove or eliminate the two distractor options. Now we only have options B and D. So, from these two options, which do you think best describe to the given situation? Correct. The correct answer is letter B. The nurse is ethically obligated to inform the person responsible for the assignment and the person responsible for the unit about the nurse's skill level. The nurse therefore avoids a situation of abandoning clients and exposing them to greater risks. An experienced nurse who voluntarily trained a less experienced nurse with the intention of enhancing the skills and knowledge and promoting professional advancement to the nurse is called a, a mentor, b team leader, c case manager, d change agent. To know the answer, let us remove or eliminate the two distractor options. Now we only have options A and D. So, from these two options, which do you think best describe to the given situation? Correct. The correct answer is letter A. This describes a mentor. The pediatrics unit is understaffed and the nurse manager informs the nurses in the obstetrics unit that she is going to assign one nurse to float in the pediatric units. Which statement by the designated float nurse may put her job at risk? A. I do not get along with one of the nurses on the pediatrics unit. B. I have a vacation day coming and would like to take that now. C. I do not feel competent to go and work on that area. D. I am afraid I will get the most serious clients in the unit.
To know the answer, let us remove or eliminate the two distractor options. Now we only have options A and B. So, from these two options, which do you think best describe to the given situation? Correct. The correct answer is letter B. This action demonstrates a lack of responsibility and the nurse should attempt negotiation with the nurse manager. The newly hired staff nurse has been working on a medical unit for three weeks. The nurse manager has posted the team leader assignments for the following week. The new staff knows that a major responsibility of the team leader is to a. Provide care to the most acutely ill client on the team. b. Know the condition and needs of all the patients on the team. c. Document the assessments completed by the team members. d. Supervise direct care by nursing assistants. To know the answer, let us remove or eliminate the two distractor options. Now we only have options A and B. So, from these two options, which do you think best describe to the given situation? Correct. The correct answer is letter B. The team leader is responsible for the overall management of all clients and staff on the team, and this information is essential in order to accomplish this.